words of significance. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this is Sir Twiggy. It has been quite a hiatus, I realize, and I do apologize. But before we get into that, we're going to do our usual first step, which is the shoutouts. So first of all, I have to make a huge apology to Super Captain Black One, who did subscribe, and I missed him. Uh, I must have... Uh, yeah, I missed him. <laughs> I must have just skipped him in the list, or I didn't mark him down by accident or something. So, in any case, if you have subscribed, and you've heard all the subscription kind of shout-outs, and you know you've been missed, feel free to message me and say, You missed me, you bastard. Give me a fucking shout-out. And I will. So, Super Captain Black 1, that one was for you. So, we're going to continue our game, and as this is loading, and we continue our character, I'm going to go with our new subscribers. There's quite a few. Oh, here we go. Guess for New Juicy, he Hugo yeah, I like Hugo. Uh, Jamie Brian ninety one, Lockman seven seven six, Time Lord Creation, Master of Disaster seven five three, Flip Swap one hundred, the Jeremiah nineteen ninety one, Thomas Tonder, what? That's not an actual name. I'm trying to figure out this name. Blahadic, Super Epic Douche. I'm gonna pause the game because if I don't. And we're going to wind up in trouble. P. P is for pause. Yes. Uh, to Jaster... Oh, God. What have I done to myself? To Jaster Aradezi. Okay, there we go. Come on. Comrade Pedo Bear. <laughs> Ryan Incomplete. The Burdouche Tube. Kira Gathman. Zell Ganasses. Ash Hart. Cy Hayes. I am Pro Man 1. <laughs> Fruit Slushy. That one was easy. Grenupal. Oxus TG, the Honda Rebel. I drive a Honda. The T34 Tank, the Dark Wolf 271, Ruth Opil is 058, Biohaze 82, Mr. Haifumi, Double D5540, Hio Loki, Mr. Scribe, Master, Rub Downfall, the Plan B Pill 23, J Lu Fantasy. Aww. Was it a uh, lump? Al what? Aluminum Razor, ha ha, 657, I, Ian Cannon, Shibin, Shim, oh my god, what have I done to myself, she, Shib, she, uh, I fail, Corn on the Cop, Corn on the Rob one, Mr. Minecraft, 8642, Sarplextus, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Aranus, 123, The Mangrove, o The Mango Overlord, uh, Burblurry36, AWDFT, WFUL, because that doesn't spell anything. Uh, Sirius XD, MGP Joker, Busted Keyboard, Yeah, It Was Me, 69, Menian 3, Ace, I can't, Acesius Fan 8, oh my god, we're only like three quarters of the way through. Halo Fan 561, Don Man Dragon, Idiotic Pumpkin Head, Byrock, Don Man Dragon, oh, I put him in twice. Uh, Daniel Bezetti, Ref Zakali 1, Among the Free, Insomniac of TV, Tom Red Sim, CP49100, Zombie Ruler 0123, X to Chaos, Uno, Childner, The Ultimate, T The Ultimate Hero 12, Pazoki, Doko, Rune, John, Voltage 1, 2S, 300, The Butt, Slut, 42. Oh, you tricked me into saying that one, you bastard. Shadows, Chi, 9190, Anthony, Firma, uh, as aided 2, Fargore 1, Sephiroth, 51287, The Guy with No Name, 13, Cool Boy, 111, Uber Hexor 1, Lear Shape, Ventier 21, Mikey, 234432, Fatal Flaw, 29, Mr. Poner, Ijuki Ratzer and Pluis 2006. That's all of them. Woo! That was a lot of them. I can never again go such a long time without doing a video because the subscribers list is just too fucking insane. Thank you, all of you. You are amazing. I'm just, uh, Gonna put a point, though. Woo! Put a point! It's been so long since I played this game. Literally, since the last time I uploaded a video was the last time I played this game. Because I feel wrong playing it and not recording it. Because it's cheap. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go do a bunch of stuff so you can't see, and for all you know, I'm cheating, but believe me, I'm not. So I don't do anything, unless you're with me. 
So yeah, uh, if you've been reading the comments and stuff, you know that I was sick. Uh, I remember a while back I was just kind of like, oh, my throat's all fucked hearted. And uh, it got worse, and it got worse, and it got worse, and it got worse. Until I realized I had a, a lung infection of some sort. Uh, man, I can't even remember like where all our stuff is and what's going on. I should have went back and like watched my own video before I came back to play so I could remember everything we were doing and all the plans. Um, but I didn't. But I didn't. So here we are. I'm going to take this axe. Oh, should excuse. So yeah, I was sick. Um, had to get on some old antibiotics and all that crap. And uh, now I can speak, so I'm back. If the tone and timbre of my voice has changed, uh, it's not intentional. It's the lingering effects of illness. My throat is still a little bit sore, but it's not too bad. Yeah, let's just drop the stack, yeah. So, it appears that we are at our base. It appears that the base is well fortified. Ah, I remember the last time we were playing, we made some pretty intense runs of the uh, field to wipe out zombies. Uh, we finished up a lot of our construction, it seems. Our door's extensions are on. We've got food. Food galore. Why does that look funny to me? That must be where I left off totally is. Yeah, because we built this little room here, and there's a way in through here. It was a crate with our shotgun and stuff. Yeah! We were setting up a room back here, and I figured out that we could take out walls. And then I realized I just dropped my sledgehammer on the ground. I didn't actually break it. Yeah, yeah. I'm remembering. I'm remembering. So the question was, where do we go from here? And a lot of people were saying, like, go into town. But then someone else would say, don't go into town, you'll die. And then someone else would say, I want to see some more construction. And then be like, oh, we've seen so much construction already. Let's do something else. So, um, I believe I'm going to start just by parading my premises. I want to make sure that we are in a state of at least semi-safeness. And people were telling me, yes, shotgun shells draw zombies. But I'm wondering if it literally spawns them. Like, it creates zombies when you shoot a shotgun. I don't know. I think it draws them into your general area if they're on the cell already. But I'm going to have to do a bit more research on that. Because if it literally spawns them on the edge of the cell, then it doesn't matter how much work I do to try and clean my cell up. Because I'm going to spawn more. Which I guess is the point. Now, for those of you who aren't as uh, insane as I am and check the forum and the Project Zomboid webpage every day, multiple times, I'll give you the kind of rundown as to what's going on at this moment in time. We are still waiting for release R. Yes, I know it's been a while, but the fact is they've integrated a whole bunch of new stuff that I think is fucking fantastic, including new animations like my dude will look completely different in version R. The zombies will look completely different in version R. It's totally reanimated. It looks like what they're doing is instead of using this like this is kinda like it seems to me to be a hand drawn kind of look. Like these all these zombies and stuff, it looks hand drawn to me. Or equivalent, you know what I mean? It's meant to look as if it were hand drawn. It's not like a 3D rendered model. But that's what's coming next. All the zombies are going to be 3D models, and you can see when they get closer and stuff, like their arms come up when they reach for you, and you can see them attacking and stuff. Uh, your dude is now, like, 3D modeled also, and looks way cooler. Uh, that has the added bonus of uh, making your clothes and all that other stuff look much more cool, too, because of the way it reacts and moves with you. Same with weapons. Uh, it looks like for version R, there's definitely going to be an updated axe with the new axe graphic and, like, a new knife. And there's going to be the pistol, obviously, which we've all been waiting for. But all these things are going to look in the new style. And... Get the fuck out of here. I almost got bit. Uh, besides that... There's going to be the new experimental combat system in the next version which is going to require, instead of just point, click, 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 
you have to hold. Like right now I'm still holding the button, you can't see your tail, but I am. I'm holding the button down. And then when I release the button, it would swing like that. So it's gonna be like instead of me just being able to walk up to this guy and from like in front of him assume the fighting stance. I would have to be like back here waiting for him in the fighting stance charging up an attack so that when he does get close I can kill him because if I just walk up to a guy and click it's gonna be like I don't know flicking him with a towel or something it's just gonna fucking piss him off so uh, in recognition of all the suggestions people have given me about how zombies really do like get attracted by sound I'm gonna try and clear the fields out relatively noiselessly meaning no shotgun and it seems to be working pretty good because like there hasn't been like so many here that would be a serious problem not like in days gone by there's so many things that have happened while you've been away Um, what else? There were things I had to tell you. Reasons. Oh yeah, so I had, I was sick. I had my throat infection. Okay, for those of you who have, like, faint stomachs, mute right now. If you're not muted, it's your own fault. I was coughing up gobstopper-sized fucking chunks of mucus. It was fucking disgusting. It was really uncool. And I say gobstoppers, I hope people can remember what those are, because they were my favorite when I was a kid. And it was kind of funny, because they were similar than gobstoppers and more than size. It was color, too. The dance means the grossness is over. The dance means my gross description has completed. Yep. <laughs> uh, besides that, I need surgery. On June 16th, I will be under the knife. Unfortunate, but true. I've already got time scheduled off work and stuff, and my parents are coming out. This is going to be cool. I love my parents. I'm sure everybody loves their parents. Well, most people. Most people love their parents. But I love my parents with a passion. Uh, they are the coolest parents that ever existed ever. I, I'm telling you. You might not believe me, but I'm telling you the truth. As a matter of fact, my father flew back home uh, today. He was, uh, he was in the area for meetings <clears throat> to do with his business. And, uh, you know, he had a hotel and stuff. But regardless of that, I told him to come stay at the house with me, please. And we would hang out and we would watch a movie. And we would talk about the war, and we would look at old war pictures, and we would be cool. Because that's what cool father and son do, and that's what we did for two nights in a row. Uh, but then the, the third night, he had to go back to the hotel. And be with other employers and employees. Yes, I realize it's getting dark. And yes, I know I've kind of wandered off point here, but so many things have happened while you were gone. I just want to kind of let you know what's going on. Uh, besides that, while I was sick, since I couldn't play uh, Zomboid, I was playing Minecraft again. Uh, I started playing Minecraft the first day that it was free. The first day that there was a problem you couldn't buy the game. Because I wanted to buy the game, and you couldn't. And so what Notch had done that weekend was uh, actually put the game up for free. Like, you could play it that weekend for free. And, uh... That's what I did. I played it that weekend like a madman. Um, since then, it has changed a lot. Uh, I wasn't there for all of it. Obviously, other games came in between. Why do I have 37 shotgun shells on me and a shotgun? Clearly I had plans to do something with that. Perhaps more shoot sting. Um, Kai, it's really dark, so we're going to fast forward. It's not so dark now.
Uh, also, I played Modern Warfare 3 during my uh, brief interim. And you're being like, oh man, he plays first person shooters? Yeah. The first game I think I ever played ever was Counter Strike 1.2. Or 1.3. It was the one that was before they took bunny hopping out. Do I have my axe on me? Feeling good. <laughs> How did I do that? Feeling good. Yeah. I didn't know E did that, but apparently it does. So if you hit E, your dude like kind of talks. He's like, man, I feel good. Man, I'm feeling good. You hear me? You hear me, guys? Feeling good. <laughs> it's random shit you find out. I know, uh, Q is scream or some shit. Alright! Um. Yeah, what else did I play while I was gone? Minecraft. Modern Warfare 3. Oh, that game. Ah, uh, fuck. I can't remember the name of it. It's another kind of zombie-ish game. It's another zombie-ish game, and I can't remember what it's called. Oops. On the wrong side of the door. I can't remember. I can't remember that specific one, but another one I was playing besides that was Rogue Survivor, which is another zombie game. Um... Great zombie game, actually. I fucking. I think I found. I think yeah. I definitely played Rogue Survivor long before I played this. I think Rogue Survivor existed long before this existed. But I will have to check and verify that. And let's see. People were saying they get stacks of three. Okay, yeah. Feeling good. You see, why do I keep hitting E? I've been playing some game that E makes open an inventory. And that's why now I automatically go for E instead of spacebar. And that's how we found out that E makes you say things. Well, it looks like that bit of uh, chopping lumber didn't really attract too many zombies. Which is great. It's better than good, it's great. So what I'd like to do is finish roofing that little section over there. Just to have it done. Who knows, I might have a bunch of wood in here. I got two wall segments. Well. Oh, because I don't have an extension on the back door. That's where we left off. So I've remembered, though, that space bar is the proper way to uh, open your inventory. And let's throw the saw back over there. And I'll need my hammer. And I'll put that up there in my second slot. And we're going to finish our roofing. I say roofing, but really it's just the walkway. Now, go at the door. Squeeze through here. Come on, squeeze through. There you go. So what else have I been playing slash doing? Well, uh, Rogue Survivor updated to version 8, I believe. 9? 8. 9? Yeah, it is 9. Alpha 9, yeah. So that's uh, I started playing that. It's pretty cool. For those of you who have never heard of Rogue Survivor, it's another zombie game, but... I'm sorry, dude, but it's just not nearly as involved as this game. Not even remotely close to being as involved as this game is. Uh, it's like a... It's a roguelike. It's a true roguelike. For those of you who don't know what roguelikes are, look up ACSI art, and you'll get a general idea of what I'm talking about. ASCII. ASCII art. Ask about the ASCII art. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Let's get some more wood over this way this time. Get some more wood.
wood there. Yeah, this is a great place to collect wood because it's in a band, so it's really easy to see it. But when you're trying to collect wood from like fucking weird corners and shit, how come I'm over encumbered? 189. Where's all that weight coming from? Probably because I got the shotgun and the shells and the axe and 10 pieces of lumber now. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, people were suggesting that I like make. Oh no, the keyboard froze up again! Fuck! Or at least it happened at the best possible time when I was safe. There we go. Yeah, I need to buy a new keyboard. But if it ain't, you know, entirely broken, <laughs> don't fix it or replace it, as it were. Home again. Yeah, so for those of you who are wondering, like, oops, excuse me. For those of you who are wondering, like, am I going to, like, just delete this guy? Well, let's... Awful lot of work went into this base just to fucking delete it. I do not plan on deleting him. Uh, if worse comes to worse and I have to, like if it's if R is no like not a compatible save or whatever, then I'll I'll probably ditch it, back it up, maybe finish it separate from a from an R let's play. Well, all my let's play are kind of like just set up in playlists right now, anyways make it a lot easier because I know the numbering system some people are just like what the fuck are you doing dude so I'm thinking maybe I have to revamp that you know if I want to be serious about it and like make people happy and you know have people really enjoy and be able to follow well then yeah you should be able to understand like fuck what is your naming your what is your nomenclature all about so I think I'm gonna have to settle down and just sit to a episode season sitting whatever I gotta figure it out so it's 19 which is 7 p.m. and uh, my dude's actually like exhausted which is great cuz then I'll actually sleep till morning instead of waking up at like fucking retarded hours hmm <laughs> perhaps roofing that section was not such a good idea it's kinda hard to see when you're walking in there now um, so my dude's getting hungry, so maybe I should just give him a little bit of food so that he doesn't wake up hungry. Oh, excuse me. Give me the bread. Yeah, and I do feel rather cheap about this Let's Play because I didn't realize that the only reason the food was keeping was because it's a bug. I didn't realize that until, like, way late in the game. So my... I should not have been able to eat that much perishable food without fucking poisoning myself. Do you want to sleep? Yes. See, we wake up at 8 a.m. That's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's grand. I'm the man. Yeah. In terms of me singing, don't expect to hear as much of it. <laughs> my throat's fucked. My lungs are fucked. I'm lucky I didn't get pneumonia. Seriously, at my age, I'm lucky I didn't get pneumonia. But that's life. So let's do a brief little uh, foray of the field here.
come back so you can die. Die! Die! Okay. That's enough of that. Ah! Oh, sketchy. Truly, that was sketchy. Um, it seems to me that the zombie numbers are ramping up. Even though I'm like coming out and wiping them out silently, they're still like flooding the area. Which is good. It's what you expect in a zombie apocalypse simulation. So I've told a couple of my friends this, um, you know, who aren't into firearms as much as I am, and uh, I'm not sure if I've mentioned it during this Let's Play or not, but I'm going to mention it now. If you live in Canada, and there is a zombie apocalypse, and you find a shotgun, that's great. You're thinking, yeah, it's a real zombie apocalypse, and I have a real shotgun, but you also have a real problem. Because all shotguns in Canada have fucking, fucking, uh, blocks in the fucking, uh, chamber. I didn't know this. I had no idea. You can only, like, chamber three rounds in any shotgun in Canada, unless you're a criminal. If you chamber any more than, like, three or four rounds, you're a criminal. Yep, apparently that's what happens. So, like, some of these breech loader shotguns, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about when I say breech loader shotgun. So the third tube... Yeah, at the end of it, there's like a cap that comes off, and so what they do is they put a stick inside of the spring to prevent you from fully loading the breech. You can only get like two or three cartridges in there, and then the uh, the stick stops the plate from moving back, so you can't actually fill the breech all the way. So, in terms of legality, yeah, that's great because now you have a you know a legal hunting shotgun. But in terms of a zombie apocalypse, you have far too few uh, rounds in the uh, chamber. So if you're if you're if you're from Canada, maybe even in the states, I don't know. I'm not American. I'm sure you haven't guessed that yet. Because I haven't said anything like car 